Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 fully supports the plan to produce business process. At the top of the planning and control hierarchy is forecasting and master production scheduling. Let's take a look at how Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 supports the concepts of forecasting and master production scheduling. Forecasting functionality resides within manufacturing in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. It is important to note that sales forecasting within manufacturing within Dynamics GP 2013 really is a forecast based on item numbers and quantities by defined time period. In other words, we're talking about an item number forecast as opposed to a budgetary or monetary forecast. The item number level forecast provided by Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 is significant in that it provides the place for us to put in independent demand for our manufacturing, planning, and control systems. Now I can have multiple forecasts. I can have forecasts by salesperson, I can have forecasts by customer, I could define a forecast by a region. The idea is I could take these smaller forecasts and roll them up, in other words, aggregate them into the one forecast that provides the mechanism to drive independent demand into my planning system. The user has the ability to define the forecast start dates, the end dates, the number of periods, and the period links. In fact, we can define forecasts by different sites. Now, in this example, we're looking at a forecast for a finished good, a chair, as well as a raw material, an arm. And this is important because Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 allows us to forecast at different levels within the bill of material. So think about service item demand. How do I get that demand in my system for adequate planning? Well, in this case, I can go ahead and put in demand for the arm, which might be a service item, and this demand will drive my planning recommendations. The concept of a master production schedule, or MPS, is derived directly from forecasting. And what we're going to do is go ahead and look at what an MPS looks like in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013. The use of master production scheduling in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 is entirely optional although it does some, provide some advantages to the user. Primarily, it allows the user to interact directly with the execution side of the software. I have the ability, through the master production schedule, to not only create manufacturing orders, but to control the status of those orders, as well as to drill down into those orders to get some specifics about the manufacturing order. So let's go ahead and click on this particular hyperlink to a particular manufacturing order. The user didn't have to go to a menu structure and open up a manufacturing order entry window and find the right manufacturing order. They simply clicked on the hyperlink and they were able to understand this particular master production schedule derived manufacturing order. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner of this window where it says MPS colon 2QFY 2017 etc etc the system's telling us why we created this manufacturing order specifically this manufacturing order was created as a result of a demand put forth in a master production schedule not only can I gain access to a manufacturing order very quickly through the use of the hyperlinks I can interact with that manufacturing order in this example, the manufacturing order that we're looking at has a status of open. That's what the O represents. I am able to release this particular manufacturing order directly from the master production scheduling window rather than going again through a menu structure to a manufacturing order, finding the right manufacturing order, and then manipulating the status from there. So let's take a look at how we do this. We simply click on the status icon, the O, and we get prompted with this message. The user didn't have to leave the master production scheduling window in order to change the status of this manufacturing order. But what if we wanted to create a manufacturing order entirely from scratch? Can we do that? Well, of course we can. We very simply flag the instance of demand in a particular time period, in this case the chair, for 175 units 
and by saving the master production scheduling window, we're going to initiate the process of creating a, man a manufacturing order. As easily as that, we've created a new manufacturing order for 175 units in this particular time period. What we've really done is enabled the user to interact with the system without having to navigate through multiple screens. Within the plan to produce business process, Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 supports the concepts of forecasting and master production scheduling. Although these concepts are entirely optional, the advantages they allow the user are a direct interaction with the planning and control system. Specifically, we're able to put independent demand into the system at both a finished good as well as sub-assembly or raw material level and through the use of the master production scheduling window, we're able to interact with manufacturing orders, create manufacturing orders, and change the status of those orders without having to navigate through multiple screens. If you're interested in seeing this demonstration again, please click on the box, Forecasting and Master Production Scheduling.